They are lying to us about jobs and unemployment. And not just a little, they are massively lying to us. This is something we've speculated about for a while, but now the proof is here and it's in their own words. What's worse is they are using these lies about jobs to make your life unbearable as they do everything in their power to make sure you do not get a raise this year after the inflation that they caused last year with their money printing reduced your standard of living. Meanwhile, they continue to put the screws to us day after day, telling us everything is fine and that this is for our own good, even though everything they're doing is making them far wealthier and the average American far poorer. And the press is not just sitting by silently while this happens. The press appears to be complicit in it because this report that came out yesterday, there is zero mention of it in any mainstream media outlet anywhere. Now, you may recall that we've speculated about this for a while, especially based on this report that came out last month from the Philadelphia Federal Reserve, where they had theorized that the Bureau of Labor Statistics for the second quarter of 2022 had been dramatically overstating the number of jobs that the economy had created. And this line here says, in aggregate, 10,500 net new jobs were added during the period rather than the 1,121,500 jobs estimated. So this is the Philadelphia Federal Reserve is saying, hey, Bureau of Labor Statistics, you guys were way off with your jobs numbers last year. Well, you can put all speculation aside, folks, because yesterday at 10 a.m., the Bureau of Labor Statistics very quietly dropped this absolute bomb on the world. This is the quarterly data series on business employment dynamics. And I challenge you, do a search in Google News or any mainstream media outlet and see if you can find any reference to this report. I have not been able to find any. And you have to scroll down in this report because this is for the second quarter of 2022, the same numbers from that Philly Fed report. And look at this here in table A on this report, the three month private sector gross job gains and losses seasonally adjusted. And look right here, the net employment change for the three months ended June 2022, negative 287,000 jobs. This is the Bureau of Labor Statistics, folks. This is the same organization that put this data out, that puts out that monthly jobs report that everybody on CNBC just pines over, and then the press and the White House and all the congressional muckety-mucks all go on TV and make these stupid speeches about how strong the jobs market is. Well, they said last year, that in these three months, the economy had added 1,111,500 jobs. And now they're looking back and saying, whoops, our bad. We lost 287,000 jobs. Now, to put these numbers in perspective, folks, 160,000 jobs represents about a 0.1% change in unemployment. So if you add 287,000 jobs lost to the 1,111,500 jobs they erroneously told us they created, you're looking at a change of about 1.4 million jobs or almost 0.9% higher unemployment. And this is just for the second quarter. I have no reason to suspect the third quarter and the fourth quarter were any different. Now think about over the last year, how many times somebody in the White House or somebody at the Federal Reserve has referred to a strong jobs market or the tightness in the labor market as a reason to raise interest rates or quantitative tighten or that it's okay to continue doing whatever monetary policy is causing Americans to lose their jobs, lose their homes, be priced out of the housing market, go deeper into credit card debt, you name it. They are inflicting serious economic hardship on people after they inflicted inflation on us with their money printing and now they're telling us, we want to make sure that you don't get a raise. We want to make sure you can't afford inflation. And it's okay because look at this strong jobs market. It's okay that we're doing it to you. And just in case you've forgotten, here, back by popular demand, is my strong labor market montage. Very strong labor market. The very strong labor market. The employment rate is still one of the lowest we've had in history. That would point to the labor market. Given how strong the job market was. The labor market is now extremely strong. Resilient, strong labor market. We have a strong labor market. Again, go check out any mainstream press right now and you will not find one mention of the quarterly data series on business employment dynamics. Nowhere, not Fox Business, not CNBC, not Bloomberg. 
You certainly won't see it on ABC or CNN or any of those news networks. You won't see it in the Associated Press that was gushing that the U.S. added 431,000 jobs last March. You won't see it in NBC News that was gushing about 428,000 jobs added last April. Or maybe we'll hear it from CNN, who was gushing about the 390,000 jobs that were supposedly created in May. You'll forgive me if I don't hold my breath. All of these numbers, all of these glowing reviews of the economy were lies. They were made up bogus statistics. And yesterday, after nine months, the government very quietly went back, revised all these numbers for a net loss of 287,000 over the same three months when they previously told us there was a net gain of 1,111,500. No mention of that as they're gushing over these fake GDP numbers that just came out today saying the economy is growing at a 2.9% pace. Well, if your jobs numbers are off by 1.4 million in one quarter, how reliable can these GDP numbers be? Now, folks, I need your help on this one. I need you to help me shine a light on this story. This demands the attention of the mainstream press. Average people need to know about this. The big lie out there is that what happens at the Federal Reserve what happens at the central banks doesn't affect the average person. You think I'm kidding? Ask that buddy from college. Ask that relative about what's going on. They'll say, oh, that just affects the rich people. That doesn't affect me. Well, people were singing a different tune in 2008 when they lost their job or when they lost their house or more recently by that friend who's stuck in the rental house that he hates, but he can't afford to buy anything because mortgage rates have doubled over the last year. All the basis for these actions that are being taken that make life harder for the average people are based on downright lies that are making the wealthy, the ruling class in this world, even more wealthy at the expense of the average person. And they get away with it because the average person thinks they can't affect it, that they have no control over it, or even worse, that it doesn't affect them. And I'm going to leave you with this quote from German poet Johann von Goethe, none are so helplessly enslaved as those who falsely believe they're free. The truth has been kept from the depths of their minds by masters who rule them with lies. They feed them on falsehoods till wrong looks like right in their eyes. Don't let this story die in darkness. Like this video, share this video, call up your friend, talk about what has happened because nobody else is going to cover this nine-month-old story about millions of jobs that they created out of thin air that they used as excuses to make you poorer. Until next time, live small and dream big.